What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you find yourself to be enjoying today's mod showcase, let me know what your favorite part of it is down there in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome back. So today, today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new player home that's kind of down here right next to Whiterun. <laughs> it's, in, it's, it's in the White Run, White Run Quadrant, but it is still pretty cool. So the, the place we're looking at today is known as Inahim, I believe is how you pronounce that. So Inahim is right here. Inahim, it has the Dawnstar kind of symbol on the map. And it's literally right next to Whiterun. So Whiterun is where you're going to want to find all of that stuff. Now, I've, I've seen comments in the past where people are like, why are all of the player homes always in Whiterun? And why are you asking me? <laughs> I don't make the mods. <laughs> Ask the mod authors. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this house out, shall we? So the front entrance of the home is super beautiful, only because it has these gigantic pink trees right here. And it creates this shadow all the way through here. And the lighting kind of adjusts as you walk up to your front door. And it just looks as if you're walking through your own mystical forest. And I really can kind of dig that. But before we go inside, let's go ahead and double check. Make sure that there's nothing on the outside. I don't believe there is. But still, better to check than to forget something. So got some bones outside your house. But that's probably leftover stuff from the tundra. If I had to guess. Got another tree back here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this. Oh, I wonder if this is one of those... One of those, like, what is it, like the sulfur pads or something like that down here? Down where all these mammoth camps are at and bone strewn crest and stuff like that? That looks like something uh, something familiar, but it's cool to have the tree growing out of it. But okay, let's go ahead and head on into the house, shall we? And here we are, inside of Inahim. I like this front entrance. So I do believe the mod author of this home is the same mod author who did Skarza, which is another home that I did, holy freaking Jesus. And the, the home Skarza actually is fairly similar in aesthetic to this home, uh, which I'm noticing. So you've got kind of the inside of the, like, the interior of boats. Uh, it seems the mod author who does these, uh, who has done both of those mods, is a pretty big fan of the way the boat looks, like the boat aesthetic and stuff like that, because the walls are from the boats, the ground is from the boats and stuff like that. But cool, nonetheless. So let's go and check this out, shall we? So we got some Stormcloak Officer boots, some assorted boots as soon as you walk inside, and then this massive freaking living room with, with a goat sconce chandelier um, that is massive. Freaking huge. Now let's see, what do we got over here? What do we have? Important letter. What do we have? If you would really like to see updates to this home, let me know. With enough people who ask me, I may consider it. Oh, okay, there you go. There is the mod author, Toki Saki, and there is the gamer tag. So thank you so much for this. Let's see, what do we got? Looks like there's another one. A letter from the mod author. Thank you for being here, and I hope you enjoyed Inaheim. Hopefully you enjoy it more than my two previous homes, Rifthra and Skarza. Any questions or comments, please feel free to reach me at my gamertag. That's so cool. I love it when mod authors leave notes throughout the entire house. Very cool. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at all the stuff down here first. A little bit of assorted stuff over here. Not necessarily the, the dynamic slash static storage and themed storage, but that's okay. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, it's Speechcraft book. Gotcha. Now, let's see. This is maybe a guest bedroom. Oh, no, you know what? It's probably a toy, like a kid's bedroom. Yes, indeed. So there's three beds in here total. And I kind of like, you know, I've never actually been a fan of the, you know, the claustrophobicness or the claustrophobia <laughs> of the size of these rooms. But I think it works well for it being a children's bedroom. I think it works pretty well, you know, because kids are small. But okay, let's see what else do we have in here. I can dig the music too, look at that. Does this go down somewhere? Oh no, that's water right there. What the hell? <laughs> I guess this is kind of like your own indoor little wading pool, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, can I get out? Okay, there we go. Now let's see what goes through here. Aha, the kitchen. Oh, this is a nice kitchen. Look at that. I love the aesthetic of basically every single thing in this house. The walls look nice, the cabinets. Every single thing just looks so freaking cool. And then it tops it off with this nice big fireplace. Looks really good. Now, okay. Let's see. What else do we have on the first floor? Got a lot of books throughout here. Very cool. But okay. It looks to be... Looks to be that's everything on the first floor. So let's go ahead and check out the second floor. Which is where I'm guessing the master bedroom is going to be at. More books right here. And then let's see. This is most likely the master bedroom. 
<laughs> oh my god, look at that window. Holy cow. Oh, this is cool. That is a badass bed. Holy shit. That is so cool looking. And I love the vaulted ceilings. Like I said, you know, the claustrophobia doesn't necessarily come into the master bedroom, you know, because the, the ceilings are much more, much taller. They're vaulted, and it feels much larger than it actually is, which is very cool to see. Now, this looks suspicious. Open wardrobe. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. A random chest for random storing, <laughs> for storage of random things. Okay, then. And you got some cobwebs in there. You might want to do some cleaning in there. But let's see, what else do we have in here? A nice study right here. With sacks of cash. Some pickaxes, a helmet. All sorts of that good stuff. Hello, what do we have? Oh, I like those. That's kind of cool. But it's an actual cupboard, so you can just store stuff inside of them and not look at empty empty uh, shelves right there. Very cool. Now, let's see. I saw a ladder over here. What goes up here? What do we got? The attic. Okay, so we found where most of the machines and stuff are at. Let's see. Do I have any, any spells like a mage light or something like that? No, I do not. Let's see. What about flames? Ah, it lights it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tad bit dark in here, so I just wanted to light it up just a little bit. But we have a tanning rack right here, an alchemy lab. We have our uh, anvil, workbench, and a grindstone, as well as an arcane enchanter, and a staff enchanter, and the smelter. Which, it's kind of nice to see a staff enchanter, because some homes really don't have them. And then we have a spell tome for Morse code. Interesting. So I do actually believe that's everything that this home has to offer. And you know, I have to say, I like the home, but I'm not sure if I'm too much of a fan of the way everything's put together. You know, I feel like it could be put together a little bit better. You know, maybe place a table here and there, put some stuff on top of the table, you know, stuff like that. But then again, I think the mod author was very confident in the decisions that they made. And you know, I have to, uh, you know, you kind of have to accept that. So guys, I very much hope you enjoyed today's mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. And guys, I will see you in the next video.